So a lot going on with you guys socially, personally. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. My sun sign, as I've told you before, is Libra. Um, you know, with you all, I'm seeing the winds of change when I look at this card. Look how the trees right here are blowing and his hair is blowing. And so I'm just sort of noticing what I'm noticing. So the winds of change, the current, the tide is changing for you all. The page of swords is about new ideas. These are the young dudes and the young dudes bring news. So I feel like that socially, interactively with other people, you're going to be um, communing together. It may be an event. It may be friends. It may be business partners and or social acquaintances, but I feel like you're going to garner new experiences, new ideas that you can put forth. And I like this. This feels good to me. You're kind of looking at the past saying, uh-oh, am I steady? Are things going to be okay? Yes, they are. And of course, this is a sword card, so this very much feels like you. The swords are Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, you know, it, it just feels like you. It, let me know in the comments below if this is one of the other signs. But I just kind of feel like you're you're on this cliff right here. The tide of life is moving you forward. You're move. You're looking back a little bit just to make sure that you're still grounded. Just to make sure that you still have that balance that you so uh, strive for in life. And that's you know that's fine. This is this is definitely a good place for you to be the second half of July, which is basically already started. Like I said, I'm a couple days late, but this feels good. Something's going to come up for you that feels like a new idea. And then the Queen of Wands comes in, and this is a fire sign. So this would be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, and this person, this queen is very passionate. She's creative. She's she's fun. She's interesting to be around. Um, she would be the archetypal writer, a producer. Uh, she is creative beyond belief. She has her sunflower, so she's happy with nature. She's passionate about nature. Here she has her cat. So her cat is very much the psychic, intuitive part of her. That's the component they're saying is very intuitive about this Queen of Wands. Then here's the lion. Sometimes it may remind you of a, a Leo, but you know, again, it could be a Sagittarius or Aries, or it could be your, your moon or rising sign. But I definitely feel like this indicates a person. It's not even the essence of, it's a person. So leave in the comments below who this might be for you. I'm going to look into my crystal. Here's the sphere. That's interesting. And, and hold it away from the cards, because can you see how it's picking up? the yellow of the queen's dress. So I don't like to get thrown off by that, those things. All right, a lot of lavender in your uh, aura, Libra. Lots of lavender. And so that could mean between the sixth and seventh chakra. Yep, okay, that would make sense. Paying attention to insights, intuitive hits. Um, when you're with people, something... A thought comes up, a perception, and you want to express it. I feel like, wow, yeah, you're going to be you're going to be seeing a lot of that. Um, also, one, two, three, three people, maybe four, a group of you talking, um, communicating, probably about this idea. One of these people may be the fire sign. Could very well be, or a person who has fire sign qualities. Again. Probably sun, moon, or rising. Interesting. Your aura looks different than some of the others, I have to tell you. Uh, but anyway, the group of people communicating, conversing, um, pointed in a new direction, which is what this Page of Swords does. Okay, so let's see what comes up for your bridge cards, which there's two of. I haven't had this yet, but all right. Okay, interesting. One is the world card. See, they came up like this, right? Okay, so I just want to make sure we have them in order. I don't know why it doesn't really... Eh, it kind of matters. Um, the world card. So you are... You see things as being the total circle. You feel that you have experienced 
the heights and the depths and you feel more enlightened. And I feel like also, Libra, for a lot of you, you're really feeling that confidence, that go power. You're feeling like you know who you are and that um, the confidence in the work you do. Maybe you're experiencing acclaim from other people, acknowledgement for good work well done. Um, I, I'm feeling this more in this reading than I have in a long time for you all, Libra, that you are feeling your oats. <laughs> You're feeling good about yourself. Um, so moving on into August, you have that, you have this major arcana card from the, it's the last one of the major arcana. It's the world. It's as the, as the fool goes through his life, he comes out an enlightened being. And I feel like a lot of you spiritually, um, have focused on yourselves. And I think you've, you know, when Mercury, or excuse me, not Mercury, when Saturn was in your first house and then moved into your second and so on and so forth, that was a tough two, three, four years. Actually going back nine years. So you received a lot of insights out of that. I keep saying that word, but let's just, you know, let's just say insights, um, where you need to be in life, who who you work well with, I would ask you these questions. Pay attention to the people that are coming into your life that you're noticing that are um, of like-minded people to you, that you feel like that they have a creative spark, that they are um, supportive of you and want to see you grow as well. Okay, so the next card is the Ten of Wands. All right, so the Ten of Wands is taking all of these burdens in life or taking all of these experiences that you've had that you've, you're you done with. The Ten is the last number of the suit cards. That's it. We're done. <laughs> We're finished. I'm taking all that um, has worked for me, but taking it towards this beautiful house and simplifying your message, your existence, your your being in the world. You don't need to carry all this, this heavy burden. You don't need to keep all that clutter in your house or in your car. It's about simplifying so that you can move forward in life and that you can feel more like this world card. You know, just like a... She's naked, but it just explains that she's... Um, She's a new babe in a way. She's open to the possibilities of life and what life brings her. And she has faith and trust that life is going to work out for her with good intentions. Okay, so you're ready to put the hard work to rest or the work. And I don't mean that you're not going to be working anymore. Actually, I think you guys are going to be um, doing a lot. It's just the hard work, the work that feels like it's like, oh, this has been so challenging. You somehow have mentally, physically, emotionally, you're moving past that. Let's see what the first part of August brings. Okay, so the first part of August, let me move these up. Okay, so the first part of August is another major arcana card. This is the moon card. And the moon card is about that path that we're walking on. Again, you know, it's similar to what this feels like to me, the Page of Swords, and they're two totally different cards. This is Major Arcana, this is a sword card, but it's like, okay, is this the right path? Uh, which, who do I follow? Well, follow yourself. This card actually represents the sign of Cancer. So any of you all that have a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising person in your life, or if that is one of your Moon or Rising signs, you're really wanting to pay attention to that intuition that comes up, those watery, flowy emotions, because that's what's going to guide you forward. You know, this sun slash moon almost looks like it's wincing on these down at this. It's okay. So what does that mean for me, for you? It's like this gate is open and she's, she's having a frown on her face a little bit. She's looking a little bit, uh, discerning because she wants you to know that you're on the right path to follow your intuition, follow your inner guidance. Don't be um, weighing too much on the options. Don't, in other words, hesitate when you have opportunities to grow because opportunities are going to be coming up for you, Libra. Again, Jupiter's in your first house, will be through October 10th, I believe, and this is just the beginning for you. 
Okay, so take those opportunities. You are going to be watching your money. You're going to be paying attention to your finances. Um, some of you are going to be talking to other people in other countries, whether you live in Argentina or you live in uh, Spain, or which are probably close together, or you live in the UK. It's feeling like some of you are going to communicate with others, and it's going to be around finances. Again, I'm getting that. I got that with this card of communicating with others, and I'm getting it around the four of pentacles, which is not the norm for this card. This card usually means feeling miserly or at least watching your money. And you, again, that was what I said at the beginning. You very well could be Libra. But see how his feet are on both money. You're not budging a lot. You may be budgeting budgeting, if I said that right, budgeting your money. Um, it's interesting how they put these buildings in these. This card has come up actually the third time in these readings. You you guys have said it number eight. And this is this four of pentacles has come up two other times for Aquarius and maybe Aries. And these buildings represent different to me, different scenarios. I think some of you are going to be traveling in the in the future. If you're not already, if you don't already live in a different country or thinking about living in a different country, you might be uh, coming up in the you know next year or two. This card to me feels like it moves forward, and it's again not usually the the Four of Pentacles norm, but I'm just using what I'm getting. So some of you might be really interested in new countries different languages, yummy food from different countries. Maybe you're going to different restaurants. I, again, interesting, this is coming out of the Four of Pentacles, but um, let's see what comes up as the clarification cards. And I'm using the John Holland deck. The Four of Cups. Okay. So the Four of Cups talks about well, discontent and boredom is how they use it in this particular deck, if you can see that. Yeah, it does mean that. When you think of the Archetypal Four of Cups card, she's looking away of three cups, and there's a, a, a guy at her door wanting to give her another cup of abundance of love. And she's like, meh. And that's what this guy's doing. He's looking away from the light. So to me, this usually means a need to be more creative. And it's clarifying what's going on here. I think you're learning how, maybe this is this Queen of Wands, because this person is so very creative and inspirational, you're going to get some great ideas or work with this person in a new creative way. Okay, well, this card has come up too. This would be the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is about moving on into the light. You see how this one's avoiding the light, and this one's like, nope, mentally, I'm ready to move on. I've had some challenges. I've had some sticky points with people. I've had some probably arguments or fighting or, and I don't mean physical fighting, I it, hopefully not, but conflicts and ready to see things in a whole new light. If you remember the, the traditional Six of Sword Tarot, it's um, a couple people in like a, a rowboat and they're moving towards new lands. So that's what this indicates. You need more creativity. You need to turn around and see, you know, what all is out there for you so that you can move into the light. Actually, it would look something like moving to this castle. I wanted to draw one more, which is the Magician card. So, yeah, this is about this Magician card in traditional tarot. Um, controlling your own destiny, Libra. Absolutely controlling your own destiny with passion and fire and exuberance and creativity, warmth. Now, there's a new side to Libra. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, my friends, I'm going to add up the cards. Two bridge cards. So very interesting. Okay, so we have one, two. All the court cards are one. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 33. 33 and 17 is 50. Four. Five and four is nine. And nine in numerology denotes compassion. It, do, it denotes completion. Um, new beginnings because you're wrapping up old stuff. So you're ready for new. Completion. 
I'm loving that for that for you guys because I feel like Libras have been through a lot and it's time for you all to uh, show your wares. Show where you're coming from. All right. And the nine in numerology, because of course there's not a 54, but five and four equals nine, is the hermit card. This hermit card, whether it's been adding it up or actually come out of the deck, has come up a lot. So it might be in the month of August that we, some of us, want to say, take some time for introspection and enlightenment. Introspection that moves us into enlightenment and personal growth, inner wisdom, seeking inner wisdom. And you might be hanging on a little bit because you know that coming up August and September, you're going to be um, in October, your life is going to be changing for a lot of you. 